out or diss this guy. He's nah, one he's of the, done. He's really one well. of, if not the best Belmonts in New York. I believe it. And uh, I mean, his play style that, also, so. as we saw, it took out Ray. Belmont is a character that really feels like he can make upsets because if you manage to tilt your opponent, things escalate so quickly. Delvante is huge. But, like, the weakness of the character, he's sort of a glass cannon. Once you get in on him, he has no real uh, get off me option besides Uppy, which is very risky. And once he's off stage, especially against a character like Palu, he can be like. He can be a sitting duck. Yeah, he just kind of gets screwed over really hard off stage. He's like a penguin coming back, you know? He's trying his best to use his little wings, but. <laughs> I he, don't, he wasn't built for it, man. I don't think that was the right amount. I get what you're saying, but like... Listen, he's not a sitting duck off stage. He's a flying penguin. Okay. Regardless, right now, Marshall actually not in too bad of a position. Yes, he is down by about 30%, but... Belmonts are able to kill extremely early. And right now, one forward smash, one good for aerial, either forward or back air. Near the side of the stage, can't finish it. No tip for that time, but oh! All right, I'm thinking we're, I'm expecting another explosive flame. He was too. He managed to get out of the way, but couldn't take that chance to close the gap. And that neutral air is probably going to do it. Yep, nerf or not. It was it's still enough. Yeah, it's still enough. Like, that yeah, point. definitely. At a point like that, it better be enough still. Now we got a quick 34 off on the air. Because it's still Palu. And Jen just knows his character so well. He's playing her for so long. In this game. Oh, he's already at 81%. He's dead. He is he's dead. He's not making it back from that. Marshall kind of throws his hands up in the air. He's like, oh, this game was so close. That's sort of the resignation of this game. It's Even if he, like, you know, he can put himself back into the mentality that he can win, but it's going to take him a little bit of time, you know? Yeah, he's got to just figure stuff out and move on. Go for it, yeah. What a nerd. Uh, ice. All right. So anyway, <laughs> the curious thing is that oh, that was almost really bad for Marshall. His up air just didn't grab the ledge. But now he's slowly but surely making a little bit of a gap. Less so. And yeah, this is going to be hard for him. There is no beating around that bush. But 90% now. One really clutch read. When he when uh while Jen's at the ledge couldn't let him a stop. Oh, that was really good use of the platform to extend the uh the range on that holy water. Still didn't connect though, and Jen was actually able to punish him for it. You know, Marshall been holding on the stock for a while. He did doing a really good job of being able to keep this one. I mean. The thing is, Jen has also taken an approach where he's like, I'm not going to overextend on you because I have the lead. This is my game to lose. And although yeah. that's, you know, usually the best strategy to have, the okay. risk of it against Belmont is that then you're not pressuring him down like maybe you should. In the end, it works out for Jen because the big thing is that he didn't take the risk that cost him his stocks. So yeah. it's a little bit of a trade-off there, and I think that you know it's definitely the right call considering he took the game in a two-stock. Yeah, he was able to hold his all really well that game. Just kind of control it for the duration of the time. Marshall was able to keep it close with the two stocks. He didn't. I mean, instantly. here's the thing: it's if he doesn't get edge guarded, it's going to be a really close set game. But, but if he gets edge guarded, yeah, the thing is, if he gets edge guarded once, that's all it takes. It's it's such a huge yes. momentum shift. Just losing a stock like that. But overall, his recoveries have been pretty good, so there's no reason to think that, you know, if he's careful, he can make it back consistently. But right now, that was the first hit he's actually gotten, and it was only 2%. I don't even know that any of Belmont's moves did 2%. Wait, what did he hit him with? I think it was like a single hit of... Ah, I 
Maybe it was like last. It was either last on neutral or like a really, really sour spot of back there. There's no way that was a back air. That was definitely a multi hit of something. And there's an SD. Oh no, and Marshall's looking at his controller. He's really upset about that. You know, getting edge guarded is, you know, really bad, but having an SD happen like that, that's that's even worse, man. And now this. And now this. Ooh. I like the coverage with the uh, dash attack in there. Yeah. And he's not quite, this game isn't lost for him yet. It's not, he bounced back pretty well. Great time on the get up from Jen. Uh, now this might be the move. So this yeah. is looking really rough. You gotta reverse three stock, okay. You know what, that's the first act, so you gotta reverse three stock Jen though. I think Jen, Marshall would have to take a really early stock in order to win this. Like, at least one of them has to be some crazy Belmont mancy thing where, you know, he kills him with forward smash at 60. I think that's kind of his win condition at this point, you know? He's got to do something. Maybe that's what it is. I'm not sure. This is He's, looking rough. He is being a lot more aggressive with his projectiles. However, this doesn't really seem to be working out for him. He's already taken 113 and only been able to dish out 31 in response. And that gap keeps going. Yeah, you can see that his heart is breaking as he plays. Jen, poised to take this game, move on, face off against Shy Guy in winners, uh, in losers finals. finals. He's still fighting, but he's oh he is fighting tooth and nail. Regardless of what the stocks show, right. but in the end, that's all. That's all it took. Some people are uh, having a party in the back.